At St. Andrew this month, our Sunday sermon series is called Under Construction. And it happens that this coming Sunday's topic is guarding our hearts. Quite good timing, don't you think, with Valentine's Day just around the corner? So how have you been guarding your heart? I don't mean romantically, though that's important too, but just guarding your heart in general. How do you protect your heart from the stressors that bombard you? The stress that being an adult demands of you, the stress that comes along with being a mom or a dad, or how about the stress called employment that seems to demand more and more of your time, or perhaps unemployment that may be a continual worry as well. And the stress of soaring prices and the worry of how are we gonna make ends meet this month? And then of course, we pile on the internal stress, heaping it on ourselves, the would've, could've, should've, that usually comes later at night, just as we're drifting off to sleep. We've all endured the restraints, the constraints of COVID, and we're all pretty sick and tired of it. We've had to limit our relationships. The loss of our social networks are hard to deal with on so many levels. And then on top of it, these cold temperatures, the endless gray skies, doing the Minnesota hunch walk with ourselves bundled in our coats and scarves and hats and mittens to the point of being sweaty and uncomfortable we endured January, the month of seemingly 963 days. I tend to find unnecessary things to be anxious about. God's message of fear not goes right over my head as I grab tightly onto the next best anxiety producing event of my life. So that said, what can we do to guard our hearts? How can we prevent all the stressors from getting us down? Well, just maybe it's not all up to us. I read once that we could act as if it is up to us, but pray as if it's up to God. That sounds like good advice to me. My go-to is taking time for prayer and writing in my journal. I light a candle, I turn on some soft music, get comfortable and spend some quality time with God. I'm acting as if it's up to me, and it helps to settle my mind and heart, but I know it's up to God. He's the one who has called me to him. In my anxious moments, I feel that the Holy Spirit comes and taps me on the shoulder and says, Kathy, maybe you need a little prayer time. In Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven, we read, Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. The peace that passes all understanding will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. That peace is basically complete trust and confidence in God's ability to meet our needs at any given moment in time, whether good or bad. He guards our hearts as he walks with us, wrapping us in his love. Let's pray. Loving God, thank you for walking with us, steadying us when we stumble and guarding our hearts with the promise of your peace. Teach us to always rely on you. Amen. Now go share that love with someone and have a happy Valentine's Day.